Alright, in this video we are going to be making a James Clear inspired habit tracker. So, we're just going to go straight into it. First thing, we're going to want a database. Forward slash DA table view. Now here we're going to create a new database. Click on new database and let's call this habits. Then we're going to go up here, click on the three dots and we are going to do full width. Now, this database here, the best way to work with habits in my opinion is a calendar. Instead of working with actual lists, it's much easier to work with calendars just because it, in my opinion, organizes the data in a much more natural kind of way with how we associate with habits. We want to first specify what kind of habits do we have. So what we're going to do is actually create a few templates. So we're going to go up here and click on this down arrow and then we're going to click on new template. Now on James Clear's website, he has this article called how to start new habits that actually stick. So we're going to scroll down and let's go to there's this one section here where he has how to create a good habit the first law cue craving response reward make it obvious make it attractive make it easy and make it satisfying so if you haven't read atomic habits but you've just heard the name multiple times this is a big part of the book and basically how we can create really great habits so let's just copy this and I'm gonna paste it in there this right here is a template that we're creating so what we're going to do is create templates for each of our habits. So this could be habit one, let's call it running. And then let's have a little emoji. I'm gonna do a running emoji, there we go. First one, make it obvious. So how are we going to make it obvious? The best way to make it obvious for running is put your shoes beside your bed. For the next one, make it attractive. Let's say to make it attractive, we can listen to our favorite podcast on our headphones. Okay, now make it easy. How do we make it easy? Since you're watching this video, you clearly care about productivity and bettering yourself. I have this free email course. It is 100% free. It's called the Productivity Playbook. Basically, email one, I talk about a certain productivity trap that many people fall into. Email two, how to get the most out of your calendar. Email three, how to harness your focus and energy. In email four, how to control your workload. Email five, achieving your goals right now. And then in the sixth email, I basically do a little pitch for my Notion headquarters template. It's a 100% free automated email sequence where the emails are delivered one day after the other. Again, 100% free, link in the description. Check it out, thanks, back to the video. How do we make it easy? Well, we'll give ourselves a rule. We only have to run for five minutes. That's a very easy ask. We're not saying you have to go and run 10 kilometers. We only have to run for five minutes. Now we have to make it satisfying. And then how do we make it satisfying? Let's say now you're allowed to have your coffee. Now you can have your coffee. So we're making a deal with ourselves. We're not allowed to have coffee until we've gone for our run. So now we've made it satisfying. All right, so I'll just delete this, make these bold. Okay, here we have our framework to how we're going to set this habit how we're going to make it super easy. By the way, if you wanna read this article, it is linked in the description. He's amazing, James Clear. If you haven't read Atomic Habits yet, by the way, please go read it, it's awesome. Cool, now we have this little framework in here for the template. Now what we wanna do is ensure that we have a property to say whether we've done it or not. So we're going to click on add property. We're going to scroll down and go to checkbox. And here, just call it done. Now we can delete the tags delete that and now click away so now we can just press on plus click on running this gets generated we can read it if we want to and we have running here now the issue is we can't see a tick box so what we're going to do is scroll up here click on the three dots we're going to click on properties then we can see this done here and we are going to click on this little eyeball that way we can now see it so now we can click on done now let's say you want to run every single day so what we can actually do is make this a recurring task. So we're going to go back up here on the down arrow and then running here, we're going to click on these three dots and we're going to click on repeat. So here we're going to change it from on to every day. Now you can select how often, so every one day, when you want this repeat to start occurring, so today, and when you want this to actually be created every day, so 12 a.m. and then click on save. Now you can do this for multiple things, so let's just create a new one, let's call it blah, and click on this down arrow. Blah here, we can do repeat, 
and we can do it every week, every month, every year. So let's say if you do every week, you can actually select multiple days. So let's say you only run on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday, you can do that as well. So this is a really efficient system if you're doing stuff on a weekly basis. Let's say you have a gym class every single Tuesday and Friday, you can set this up and you don't have to worry about manually creating it every single week. Now, the same idea applies if you have my headquarters template. It's my all-in-one system with tasks, projects, life buckets, taking quick notes, resources, everything like that. Really cool. If you haven't checked out the video, have a look. But it's the same idea if you're using this system, as I know many of you are. So you can just click on the down arrow and let's say habit one. Let's click on that, click on edit. And then in here, you can add all of these prompts. So you can write them in here. Same idea on the habit one. And let's say habit one should repeat every single week. And let's say it's on Saturdays and Wednesdays. Then we can do that and hit save. And now that should work just as well. But what do we do if we have bad habits that we're trying to break? Well, luckily James Clear has a system for that as well. And this is what it looks like, how to break a bad habit. So again, he's using the cue, craving, response and reward system, but we're doing the opposite of everything. So we're trying to make it invisible, we're trying to make it unattractive, we're trying to make it difficult, and we're trying to make it unsatisfying. So let's copy this, bring it over, do a new one. Let's do, let's just change blah, paste that there. Let's say junk food. All right, junk food is the thing that we're trying to kick. Every day we have junk food. So how can we break this bad habit? Well, the first thing is make it invisible. So it's the opposite. Hide all the existing junk food at the back of the pantry. Next thing, how do we make it unattractive? All the snacks we buy, make them healthy. So instead of having ice cream for a snack, we'll have an apple. Make it difficult, don't have snacks at home. Now all of a sudden, every time you want a snack, you actually have to go out, physically walk to the store to buy the snack. This is just putting one little barrier in between you and actually having a snack. So how do we make it unsatisfying? You have to do 100 sit-ups if you do eat it. Now we have a good framework for this, which was the opposite of before. So now we're going to delete that bit again. That was just as a framework to help us. And we're going to click away. Now with junk food, that should probably be a daily thing. So we'll click on that. Repeat, make it every day, click there. So just to kickstart it now, I'm just gonna click junk food. So now every single day, if we don't eat the junk food, we tick it in. Now you might be thinking, shouldn't we have some sort of system where we can see all of these numbers and track the percentages and progress bars? I'm actually kind of against this, just because it's a lot easier to go from 100% to 90% to 80% than it is to bring it back up from 80% to 85% to 90%. It is much more difficult to do that, which typically then results in people getting less excited to stick to the habit over time as they're seeing these numbers slowly, slowly decrease. We just want to have this as a basic way of checking stuff in just to show we're on track. But if we miss one, let's say we didn't run today, then it's okay. And again, if you're interested in my headquarters template, be sure to check out the video. It's my all-in-one system that's been designed to combine everything you need to make you organized, productive, and motivated. Check out the video. Thanks for watching.